Last time on Around Town, we dove into the early days of Town & Country's bed bug boom. People were having a hard time, one, identifying them, two, killing them. Once you really started getting into it, we could walk into pretty much any apartment complex that we were doing, we would be like, there's definitely bed bugs here. But in those early days, they still needed to figure out the best way to kill off bed bugs. Holding up his end of the bargain with his son, Matt Fabry set course to conduct his own research. My dad put together a pretty good program with killing bed bugs, which was actually the key. My dad likes to be bit by anything at least once, so it was an easy one to get him to buy in to be bit by bed bugs. But what you don't know can't hurt you. So my dad had, would always carry around this like jar where he could stick his hand inside where there's bed bugs and they would eat off of his arm. He didn't react to it, so he would keep these things alive. We'd use those to hide for tracker. We'd put them in vials. He'd also use them to test on different pesticides. And there was a huge um, pesticide resistance to bed bugs. So each cycle, they built up usually a, a resistance to a product called pyrethrin. So that made it really hard to kill them, especially if you were like using that same product over and over in a building. Eventually it didn't work. We also had, he would call it a lab, but it really wasn't, it was an empty house that we owned that currently wasn't rented. He wanted to learn like, how often do they come out? How often do they feed? He would have this mattress and box spring and he'd go lay on it and watch the bed bugs come out and he'd film it to see like their activity at night and during the day. It honestly helped us grow in that area for sure. Someone that was willing to sacrifice a little bit of their own and create a compassion for our customers. You know, like these people are not choosing to live with bed bugs. He's choosing to live with them. Things were all coming together now that they could identify bed bugs, kill them off, and had a compassion for their customers. But for all of this to work, they needed their trustworthy workforce to buy in. All the same chemicals are available to everybody, but it's all about those that want to learn how to apply it the best and where to apply it. So a lot of it came down to just being patient and being detailed and doing the job properly and stop rushing because we were doing 100 to 150 units in one day. That's what made us truly successful, in my opinion, was the people that went in and did these jobs. This tight-knit group at Town & Country had all of the right ingredients to become a bed bug's worst nightmare. Do you consider yourself an expert? I'm not a bragging person, but yes, bed bugs speak to me. They speak through me. <laughs> You're the bed bug whisperer. <laughs> yep. and, and even my dad, who hasn't been doing this for years, I would feel very confident to have him go and look at someone's house for bed bugs. Once you understand where they are, how they are, where they move, how they move, what they look like, it's all the same. Here we go, we got a mattress. Look at this, man. Look at this. Even from right here on the road, I could probably often tell, and where I could tell would be any of those seams. Honestly, like there's some things on there that are suspicious from right here. It was always very fun to drive around and see. We have a sales guy here and he loved coming across dumpsters full of furniture. He knew for sure that that place had a bed bug issue. You've got all these different kinds of people living in these big buildings and you do have someone that you know has bed bugs and they've taken all their stuff and they've thrown it out into the dumpster outside of the building and then some other tenant walks around grabs it all and brings it back into their apartment is this your official kind of public service announcement of buyer beware or you know roadside pickup beware it has that's been my public service announcement since the day we learned a lot about how they get around i would say don't throw it out have it treated. We have such good treatments now that are effective. They'll have a low impact on anybody's health and we could save all that furniture. And so you don't need to panic. Like bed bugs are treatable. After all these years, who knew something so small would help town and country pest solutions get so big? I feel like for a good year, it seemed like all we did was treat bed bugs, literally just treated bed bugs. We, we would drive hours. I've seen so many bed bugs in my life uh, there was not a job that I didn't go out on. And we, we would go to Pennsylvania, Ohio. We went as far as Indiana for bed bugs. We became like bed bug killers, like known for that. So all that hard work and grinding literally gave us the chance to be who we are today. Even now, that bed bug boom made a lasting impact on the company identity. I'm Matt Miller, and we'll see you at the next job. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all our other videos and to subscribe to get all of our content in your feed at Town & Country Pest Solutions.